Hydropower has long been a staple of the U.S. energy system, providing cheap and reliable energy to different parts of the U.S. Today, Hydropower's role is changing as there's a greater emphasis on decarbonization and so integration of wind and solar generation. What we're doing here is we're showing that small hydropower that is more integrated with local communities can also provide Black Start services to those communities in the event of an emergency situation where the regional grid isn't available. A Black Start is a process that restores power to an electric power substation or part of the electric grid to operation without relying on external transmission network to recover from a total or partial shutdown. In the case of Idaho Falls Power, we are able to restore emergency power to our substations as well as part of our distribution electric grid. Black Start is a service that most customers have probably never heard of. Um, but yet it's a kind of an essential part of ensuring a resilient grid. And I like to think of it as kind of an insurance policy against the worst effects of a blackout. Black Star can be the difference between an outage that lasts a few hours to one that can last weeks. We started having the conversation of what happens if we have a major event that the grid isn't there? Can we at least provide power to our community from our own local facilities. So we started you know, having conversations with the Idaho National Lab. INL's unique capability in this regard is to integrate that physical hardware, for example, the ultracapacitor system, with a digital model of Idaho Falls Power System in order to understand how the new hardware will interact with the existing system. The actual testing involved a lot of modeling efforts for the software-based modeling of the hydro governor and the turbine models. So in one way, we were trying to get all the information we had into the software so that we can test out the actual behavior of the system that we would see in the plant when we went out for our field demonstration. So this entire process of uh, developing the model and the hardware and the loop simulation involved like multiple steps. Uh, first, we have looked into the, the actual uh, modeling effort. So that model has been uh, tested offline on the software and then it has been incorporated through the digital real-time simulation. So in ca it can interact with the hardware, uh, the ultra capacitor energy storage system, and we can see how it behaves. A few things had to happen for the field demonstration to occur. One, we had to rent a load bank what the load bank does is it enables us to simulate those critical loads on the system. And we connected our ultra capacitor and inverter system that we've been testing at INL's facility. And with those resources isolated and combined, then what we did is we tested different combinations of solutions in order to provide this black start and grid islanding capability. It's a first-of-a-kind demonstration about using hydropower-based resources to power local grids and local community services wherever those hydropower resources exist. In the near term, we're going to spend the next several months analyzing the data to extract all the insights we can about the relative contribution of improved hydropower controls, connecting multiple small hydropower plants together and adding in this ultra capacitor and inverter system as well as potentially other types of energy storage like lithium ion batteries, flow batteries, etc. in order to enable this capability for not only Idaho Falls Power but other communities that also have hydropower resources as well. To know um, as city leaders that our utility can be um, uh, resilient through uh, any kind of disruption in power. We can take care of people and have all of those essential services being provided. That's huge. The demonstration project definitely communicated that we're there. Here in the Hood River area, about 20 percent of the electricity use in the county could be served just with local hydropower. These facilities, if they were adapted to be able to black start and work with a local grid, could probably provide significant benefits beyond what they currently do. What we've done here with Idaho Falls Power is shown how 
these local communities with their own generation assets can achieve these multiple objectives, decarbonization, reliability and resilience, at the same time that we're ensuring affordable electricity for all Americans.